Welcome to my creative chronic life and today I'm back with a different type of video for you where I'll be sharing what's on my to be coloured list. So first off we are going to start off with 2023 colouring calendar from Johanna Basford and it says the world of wonder. I've had this now obviously since last year and I did start it a while ago but I didn't get very far. I only managed to colour this first page in. Now of course I know that 2023 is over so I'm not going to be using this as an actual calendar but my intention is to just continue to colour them in month by month. So we have finished so that's the first page that I coloured in. And then this is for the month of January. Month of February. April. June, July, August, September, October, November, and December. And that's the final one here. And then at the end, and that's the final page and then here on the back if you wanted to do a little bit of extra colouring in we could do so so that is Worlds of Wonder 2023 colouring calendar for Johanna Basford and our next colouring book is the Johanna Basford World of Flowers. Now I got this quite some time ago and as you can see I completed maybe a page in there. So this is the first page and this is when I was pretty much brand new to colouring in. I had some basic colours from the Poundland and I just decided to colour it in and I realised I found it really enjoyable. I then had some gold and silver pens which I decided to colour this section in and then I started this page and I haven't quite completed it so my intention is to switch it up a little bit this year and colour in a couple of pages from each book so my intention is to finish this one and then I'll just quickly share lots and lots and lots of flowers so I'm looking forward to finishing this one and the next one in the list is again from Johanna Basford and this is the world of wonder and I managed to colour in this page only and if you can see I've still not quite finished in colouring in all of it but that's okay and I haven't gotten even as far as bending down the page in the rest of the book so I'll be looking forward again to colouring this in we just have a quick look at what we've got just a couple of pages so lots and lots of pages to keep us busy and that is the world of wonder and then we have Johanna Basford's room of wonder and it says step inside this mag magical colouring book got the first page here and then the most I managed to colour in was this book belongs to and I decided to use I think these were the Stedler pens pencils and then I have been colouring in this page just a little section at a time 
not even five minutes at bedtime and I'm really looking forward to getting this page completed this year it's just something I like to do in on an evening so I'm not really looking to you know color this whole entire page in one go it's just to do a small amount and so far the only pencils I've used are the Stedler set of 24 colored pencils but I'm hoping to add in the Arteza pencils because we've got obviously the little robot we've got some gold and silver you know with the trophies here again with the helmet and I think I need to add a little bit more color into this because yes it looks nice already and like I've used some shading with the brown boat but then you've also got the frames behind you know the clock behind it which is brown and then it just kind of feels like it's all blending into one colour so I do really want to try and add more colour into this I think it'll look nice and that's the only page I've done as you can see there's lots and lots of pages lots of craft sections some flower sections mushrooms lots of mushrooms so again another one i'm looking forward to and that is the rooms of wonder and the next book we have again is by johanna basford and this is the 30 days of creativity and I colored in this page I really really enjoyed coloring in this page it was the first time I used my Arteza pencils and I loved it I was so surprised with the amount of colors that were in there and I was kind of spoiled for choice and because I'm so used to just using a limited amount of pencils I decided to limit my palette and just picked out a few greens and a couple of blues and just really stuck to a simple palette and I love that and again I decided to colour in this name page very simple subtle colours I haven't actually even done a 30 day challenge so if you do want me to do a 30 day challenge with you let me know i'll be really intrigued and in how i actually get on and how much i manage to color in if i especially take out you know little chunks in a day i mean my intention was originally to put this into quarters and then have four months out of the year where i did this challenge and it didn't necessarily have to be in this particular book could have been any book Here are some of the pages. So this book is its intended use is for you to finish off what's already been started and add your own. And if I'm honest, I don't think I got very far at all with this. I was always looking forward to colour in these pages because I enjoy crafting this hot air balloon you could do it any which way I love the fact that the outline's already there for you because there'd be no way I'd be able to do this myself this idea here where you can write your own recipe down I'd love 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 to be able to do that in real life I've seen some over on Etsy or Pinterest where they watercolor their own recipe in oh, and it looks stunning and then they frame it and keep it in the kitchen I'd love to be able to be that artistic but I'm not <laughs> so yeah so that one is the 30 days of creativity by Johanna Basford and the next one we have is the Johanna Basford 2023 Weekly Colouring Planner. I, again, I didn't get around to using this as an actual planner. 
but I think if my memory serves me well, um, I did do a page. I did. And it came out wonderful. And these were the Studler 24 set of coloured pencils. I kept the houses quite minimal. And this was me just doing a bit of shading, adding a little bit of technique. And this was a December, January start. I mean, if I really wanted to, I could just wipe down, you know, white out the numbers um, and then just start from this year. I don't think it would really matter, to be honest. I mean, there might be a little bit of overlap of where the days actually start, but that's okay. And then you've got like a week by week. And I've seen many of the Finally, from Joanna Basford, we have this Small Victories colouring book. Now, you've probably seen a lot of this on my channel because I have been sharing lots. I'm not sure why I've coloured a lot more of this in. I think it's because it's smaller and more compact. And I feel like sometimes the other ones are a little bit daunting because they're so large. And I've shared a colouring tutorial with this colouring in the mushrooms which I really enjoyed and then we've got these ice cream trucks and I've loved how they've come out I've mixed and matched where I've chose, chosen to use the Stedlers and then I've used the Artezas and they've come out lovely I also coloured in this house and it's a very subtle grey colour I wanted it to look like it was evening time, a little bit gloomy. Pretty much about how the weather we've got now in the UK. And this summer I haven't even thought about starting. We've also coloured in this cream house. Again, there's a tutorial available on my channel. We coloured in this little pink flower, this yellow one. And then we coloured this lovely one in peach and this is the one in red. And these were quick and easy to do, just three, four colours, a couple of minutes and I was done. I am looking forward to colouring in one of these because there's bigger versions like this in the previous books. But again, I didn't do it because I just was like really overwhelmed. I wasn't sure where to start. But now I am building up a lot more confidence in colouring in and I'm not as afraid. I loved, loved colouring in this lavender ice cream. I saw it everywhere over on Etsy and TikTok and Pinterest. Lavender flavoured ice cream. Unfortunately, I've not tried it yet, but I really can't wait this year, hoping it comes back. So that was kind of my inspiration behind it. I then coloured in these bluebells and this orange type of flower. Well, I chose it to be orange anyway. This was one of my favourite ones. It was quite nostalgic. It's like, um, you know, something on the shelf. I keep wanting to say elf on the shelf, but you know what I mean, where you've got little items and things on the shelf. And this was nostalgic because I remember playing with this as a child. I don't think, to the best of my knowledge, there is any more, but we'll, oh yes, there was. This raspberry velvet cupcake. Doesn't it look delicious? And then we coloured in this mushroom. 
and I've shared this over on a reel. And YouTube short. And I think the final one is this little blue how. And this always, these little houses remind me of the borrowers. I think that's all we've got. No, to lie, we've got this purple castle. My inspiration behind this was unicorns. No idea why, but that's what I was thinking. And then we have our teacup of flowers. So I've really enjoyed sharing this over on my channel. If you would like to see anything specific in any of the colouring books, do let me know. And I will be doing a giveaway of this exact colouring book. So a brand new one. So I'll be sharing them details within the next few weeks. So we can either do it over on YouTube, on Instagram. And that is the Small Victories colouring book by Johanna Bond. And then our final colouring book. I do have one more, but I can't for the life of me find where I've put it. It's another one from Johanna Basford, and it's the small, small pocket one. If I do find it, I will share it again in another video. Um, I've coloured a lot of that, a lot of that one in. And this is the final one that I have, and this is from Arteza. I picked this up when I originally got my Arteza 120 set of colouring pencils um, and this was the kind of the first ever book I bought after the pocket one from Johanna Basford and I've coloured in this page I missed out this page because I just thought it was too small and intricate to do and I wasn't really good with any techniques and I wasn't really sure what colour I should colour them in to be honest so I just left that blank and this was one of the first ones I did after that and I love how it's turned out I mean of course now as time has gone by I can see where I probably should have blended in a little bit better and maybe coloured in a little bit more but I was playing around with shadows and lights here and this one was really fun to do and I love how it's turned out and this is another completed one which I really really enjoyed doing I just did a little section at a time, little section at a time and before I knew it, that was done and then this one is the one that I'm currently working on and I just wanted to use a simple palette, not add too many colours in and just use the same pencil to do the lighter sections and add the shadows in. Again playing with a bit of technique and a bit of light. And that's all we've got for this one. So I'll just share a few pages with you. And if you wanted to, you could actually like kind of rip these out and frame them or pop them and for you know print, cut them out and put them on top of a birthday card or something. You know, it's quite unique. Yeah, there's 74 total pages here for you to colour in. So keep anybody entertained, wouldn't it? And that is the Arteza. Oh, it says 72 sheets, but we obviously we're including the front as well. But it's saying 74. And this is the premium one. It's in the 6.4 inch by 6.4 inch. And it's on a hundred pound paper. And it's in white. So this was a bit of a shock when I actually got 
um, this one because I was so used to colouring in with the Johanna Bassford's paper which is almost like a light cream colour and when I was colouring this it just felt really odd to be able to see a lot of white through the paper but I'm not sure which I prefer to be honest um, because I've you been using some paper at home and printing out from Agato Pop over on Etsy I did a Christmas series with that and that was on plain white paper and it felt very odd to be able to do I haven't used this in, a, in quite a while so it'll be nice to be able to go back and see what I do so my intention is to do a bit of a colouring journey with you to see how many pages I can get completed this year uh, would you like to see anything in particular would you like me to share the 30 day challenge would you like to join me I mean we've got I mean the month of January I always find there's always lots of things to catch up on lots of things to do so as the months go by if you'd like to see anything different let me know in the comments below but that's all we've got time for today I hope you've all enjoyed watching thank you so much for subscribing Please do leave a comment letting me know your favourite book and if it's something that is not here, what would you recommend? Any recommendations would be good as well. Any pencils, I mean I only actually hold the Artezas and the Stadlers and I've got a botanical set. They're the three sets of pencils I've got. I think they're enough for me at the moment with what I'm doing. But if you do have any other suggestions, do let me know. Thank you so much for watching. That's all. Until next time. Bye-bye.